Welcome to Electra Online. Sometimes the deception could be somewhat political. Maybe they want to exaggerate about how bad things actually are. So let's say that these are graphs representing the number of bankruptcies in a particular state for the particular years. And notice that in 1999 there were 1,400 bankruptcies. By the time 2004 came along, there were 2,700 bankruptcies. But the way the graph is depicted, it looks like the number of bankruptcies just absolutely exploded and it looks like there's five times as many bankruptcy as there were just five years ago. But if you truly represent the scale so that the length of each bar represents the total number of bankruptcies, you can see, yes, it's getting worse. There's more and more bankruptcies. And you can see that there's almost a doubling of the bankruptcies in a period of six years. But visually, it gives you a very different picture when you look at this, that there's a steady increase rather than an absolute explosion of number of bankruptcies. The numbers are exactly the same, it's just the way it's depicted. And that is often done to make it look like things that are a lot worse than they are or a lot better than they are, depending upon what it is that we're trying to get across. But you can see that it's easy to tell, especially again, when the width of each bar is not truly representative of the number contained within it. And the typical way of deceiving the public by looking at these graphs, you can see that it's how it's depicted, it's where the starting point is, it's how wide the graph is or how wide the bar is relative to the number it contains. And you can see a clear difference between the two.